Good morning. The Anni Asbu in Jema. Whereby God has given us masses. Anni Mungu Ametupatia Huruma. We are seeing this day. Here to Kaiser Kuona Siko. Today is day I'm very glad. Zipia Leo ni Nereza Kuona for us, Anna. I'm here to be used as a vessel. Nukuhapa Kutumeka Kama Chombo. So that we can fulfill the word of God. Here in Nikatimize Nenela Mungu. My first 15 minutes. Ani the kazangu za kwanza za kumi na tano. We need to learn something. Nataka tu kajifundishe kitu. We are going back to class. Tutayanda katika dalasa. The last 15 minutes. Na dakika kumi na tano za mwisho. The teachings. Itakuwa ni maubiri. Amen. Amen. Each and every of you knows what we call a tank. Ani kila mtu alia madapa anajua kile kitu ambacho kinaeta ulimi. A tank ulimi is a doctrine. Ani ulimi ni kama dini that it's in you. Ambaye iko ndani yako. And that doctrine ani ayo mafundisho it depends is either positive or negative. Ah italingana na wewe kukua katika upande wa wema ama upande wa wa mabaya. Around your surrounding. Kulingana yale ambayo yamekuzingira. So many Christians and wa Kristo wengi. They are using this doctrine wanatumia mafundisho haya. I think that they are born again. Wakisema ya kwamba wameokoka. And that's what the Bible is telling us clearly. Ndiyo maana Biblia inatuambia kwa uasi. They are coming and they are still coming and they will come. Wanakuja na wanaendelea kukuja na watakuja. More teachers and walimu wengi. We did many kind of different types of doctrine. Na watakuja na kila aina yote ya mafundisho. So you as believers kama wewe muamini. And you know that you stand truly you believe. Na unajua kama umesimama katika imani kweli. Just accept that there are many doctors coming. Akubali ya kwamba kuna aina mengi ya mafundisho yanayokuja. They are coming to destroy yanakuja kuharibu they are coming to build yanakuja kujenga some of them are, they will be bitter and hata mengine ya mafundisho hayo yatakuwa machungu others they will be very sweet hata mengine yatakuwa matamu kweli so you are going to decide wewe mwenyewe ni wa Mungu which doctor you carrying in your arm through your tongue mafundisho gani umeyabeba kupitia kwa ulimi wako which doctor are you producing by your tongue wewe unatoa mafundisho gani kutoka kwa ulimi wako you are there a good singer. Wewe uko pale mwimbaji mzuri. You are pale doctor of singing. Kweli umebeba mafundisho mema mazuri ya kuimba. But you are under your surrounding. Lakini je mazingira yako? What kind of positive or negative thing are you living there? Yale mazingira yako na mvuto gani kwako? There's a, this verse in the book of James chapter 3. Unasoma katika kitabu cha Yakobo. James 3. James James 3. Verse 1 to 2. My brothers and sisters, not many of you should become teachers. As you know, we, we teachers will be judged with great strictness than others. Ndugu zangu, wenyu wenyu musio wa alimu. Kama mujuavyo, sisi wa alimu, tutapata hukumu kubwa zaidi kuliko wengine. These teachers, ani wa alimu, it's your tongue. Ni hapa ni ulimi wako. What do you teach people by using your tongue? Wewe wafundisha watu kunini kupitia kwa ulimi Which wako? Which doctrine do you hold in your tongue? Mafu, ulimi wako umeshikilia mafundisho gani? That's why the Bible is warning you. Hapa ndio maana Biblia inatuonya. Because your punishment will be worse. And ghadhabu yako itakuwa kali sana. And you need to take care. Na lazima ukae mwangalifu. So I have a question for you. Niko na swali kwenu. How do you use your, the doctrine that God has given you? Wewe unatumia aje mafundisho ambayo umepewa na Mungu. 
We are few and need answer from each and every of you. Ah, ni toko wachacha hapa na itaji jawabu kwa kila mtu aliye mahali hapa. Starting from Tanda Swigarawa. Waje tuanze kwa ndugu yetu Tanda tukiendelea hivi. How do you use the doctrine that God has given you? Tueleze tu kwa ufupi mafundisho ambayo Mungu amekufundisha unayatumia aje. Praise God. Praise God. Since I become a believer. Ani wakati nilikuwa muamini. Now before I become a believer. Kabla sijakuwa muamini. I mean Nilikuwa nikitenda mabaya kupitia kwa ulimi ambao Mungu amenipatia. But when I I come to understand who is God. Sasa wakati nilikuja kumtambua Mungu ni nani? And then I realize I can carry a curse or a blessing. Nikajua kwamba kumbe ulimi wangu umebeba laana ama baraka. The same same one time. Sasa huu ulimi tu. So it was a bond for me to decide. Sasa ikanifanya mimi niamue. So I do it according to God's will. So ulimu wangu unatenda mapenzi ya Mungu pekee. That I prayed to God. Na ambapo niliomba kwa Mungu to turn my tongue. Ili abadilishe ulimu wangu so that I can use it wise according to his will. Ili nikatumie na hekima kulingana na mapenzi yake. And whatever he has taught me. Na kila ambacho amenifundisha. I use my tongue to pass to others. Natumia ulimu wangu ukafikie wengine. That is how I am operating. Na hivyo ndivyo ninavyofanya kazi na walimu wangu. Amina. Na hata kwangu pia namshukuru Mungu. Ani wakati nilipompokea Kristo katika maisha yangu. Ani kile kitu ambacho nilitumia kwa walimu wangu kutengeneza kikuwe kizuri ama kibaya. I accepted Jesus Christ. Kitu cha kwanza kwa ulimi wangu ni kile nilifanya ni kumkubali Yesu kwa mkombozo maisha yangu. And from that time, ah kutoka pale. I use my tongue. Jeana nikatumia ulimi wangu. Na kuhakikisha kwamba na kila mtu akaunganishwe na bibi. And I pray that may God keep that tongue. Na hata naomba Mungu akaendelee kutunza ulimi ule kufanya kazi njema. Amen. And mimi nataka nimshukuru Mungu. For having used me. And kwa kuweza kunitumia mimi. To decide. And kwa kuamua. I myself. Mimi mwenyewe. To believe in him. And kwa kuamini yeye. As everything in my life. And kwanza Mungu kuwa kila kitu kwa maisha yangu. Praise God. And I also thank him. Na tena nimshukuru whatever he is doing na kila praise god amen always to say in james vile nimesema katika kitabu cha yakobo ni nivigumu sana kwa mwanadamu mwenyewe kuutunza ulimi wake as far as it is ni kidogo tu lakini ni hatari sana kuutunza na kweli ndio ilivyo because this tongue of mine can even destroy this god ah ni ulimu wangu tu inaweza kuharibu hata kikundi hiki kizima so as a person kama mimi mwenyewe i cannot say i am like ah siwezi kusema ya kwamba mimi na style that's why up to now mpaka siku ya leo i'm using my tongue naendelea kutumia ulimi wangu for repentance ah ni kwa kutubu for repentance kwa kutubu each and every time ah ni kila wakati because always sometimes even when annoying ah hata wakati mwingine kuna matendo ya tele ya dhambi bila kujua so natumia ulimi wangu kwa ajili ya kutubu so ask god to bless me where i'm going well na hata pia natumia ulimi wangu mungu akanibariki kwa yale matendo mema na yatendo where i'm going wrong na hata kunionyesha maovu yangu na utukufu ukamrudia mungu amen I use my tongue. Kwambia watu ile injili nisikie. To tell the people the, the, the gospel that I received. Na kutumia wakati nimeleta vibaya wakati nilikosa kuambia Mungu anisamehe. And the same same that I also use it to confess my sins of where I have gone wrong. Yeah. Amen. I use my tongue. Na mimi pia natumia ulimi wangu. When like 
Ana kufungua watu macho about tomorrow. Hii ni wajue mambo ya kesho. About what they are doing, where they are going wrong. Ana mada ambapo pia wanakosea. And where they are going right. Na pale ambapo pia wanatenda mema. Continue and doing right. Ana wanapotenda mema waendelee kutenda mema. Praise God. Amen. Mwanae sasa sipenzi. Hata mimi na nasikia Yesu Mungu. Even me I thank God so that you can use my tongue when I was a drunkard I was using my tongue very bad but the time I received Jesus I thanked him for, for the things I was paying when I was drunk to come out from them amen, amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Mimi nashukuru Mungu. Even me, I thank God. Kwa ajili kwa vile ambavyo nilikuwa natumia ulimi wangu vibaya. Before the way I was using my tongue very badly. Ulimi wangu kwa mara ya kwanza ilikuwa inatumika kwa ajili kufanya maovu. first time I was using my tongue to do wickedness. Ani kudanganya mtu. It to cheat. Akubali kenya ambaye imemwambia so that this person might accept the word I've told him na kutoka kwa ndani ya roho yangu and from my heart nilikuwa najua ninafanya uongo i knew very well that i'm lying lakini kwa hiyo vile ambaye alikuwa kati kama huo venye nilikuwa but now at that time because i was still a, 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 a believer nilikuwa natumia hivyo kwa ajili ya kutaka kufanya hiyo jipti i was using my tongue to benefit from it through lies lakini vile ambaye nilikutana na Yesu but now the time i met jesus nikaona hii ulimi ambaye nilikuwa nadanganya watu then i came to understand that this the tongue that i've been using to cheat people waacha nikuja hiyo ulimi tena ikuje kaokomboe watu so that i can use that tongue to say people out from lies also for those people that I was cheating kwa hivyo hiyo ulimi yangu inatumika kwa hivyo bila nikubali Yesu so now i'm using my tongue to save people from lies that i was doing before i received jesus amen praise god amen now we have heard each and every you is giving positive attitude toward this tongue and tunaona kila mtu anatoa habari njema kulingana na matumizi ya ulimi wake but the bible is still telling us lakini Biblia inaendelea kutuambia. We openly make mistakes. Lakini kuna wakati tunatenda maovu. So our tongue should be ready to repent. Na ulimu wetu nafaa ukuwe tayari kukiri. You find this small thing just to a tongue. Unapata kitu kidogo hiki ambacho ni ulimi. The doctor that inside it. Ana kile kitu ambacho iko ndani. It can either destroy kinaweza kuharibu it can either build inaweza kujenga it can either burn and kinaweza kuchoma everything in this world kila kitu katika dunia hii be it it's the government hata katika serikali be it it's the church hata katika kanisa be it it's the society hata katika jamii each and every corner ane katika kila kona ya dunia hii thank is the dictator of everything ani ulimi ni ile hali ya kutimiza maneno fulani ya kinguvu so christians wa kristo we should be take care lazima tukoe waangalifu we should take care lazima tukoe watu makinifu with the doctrine that is in our what we are carrying na yale mafundisho ambayo tumeyabeba you should be, not be the one usikuwe mmoja at, at a day kwa kila siku you have speak five words of god umeongea maneno matano pekee ya mungu and 1455 is of satan umeongea maneno ilivyo moja 454 na tano ya shetani you have talked 10 words of god umeongea maneno 10 pekee ya mungu but 5000 umeongea maneno for, for destruction ya uharibifu is for this destroy maneno ya uharibifu so you should take him lazima tukae uangalifu because we normally use our tongue very poorly ani watumia ulimi wetu vibaya sana and we had the name of christianity na hapa tunajificha katika ukristo because if somebody can hear us what you produce kile ambacho watu watasikia kile unatoa and if if he hears whom you are na ataweza kutambua wewe ni nani Yes, so many question marks. Lazima atakuwa na maswali. 
So we need to take him. Lazima to kaya watu angalifu. That's at the end of the teachings. Hapo, hiyo mwisho wa mafundisho sasa. Now, we are going to what we call our, my, teaching to, my preaching today. Ah, ni mahukubili yangu sipi waleo. The wisdom above. Ah, ni hekima itokayo juu. The wisdom above. Hekima itokayo juu. We know that wisdom is everything. Tunajua kwamba hekima ni kila kitu. Without wisdom you can't move. And bila hekima hautaweza kusonga. Without without wisdom there's destruction. And bila hekima kuna uharibifu. So there is hekima from above and there is hekima from the world. And kuna hekima itokayo juu mbinguni na hekima itokayo kwa shetani. I have a question for you. Niko na swali nani? Are you the wise and understanding? Wewe ni mtu ambaye unaweza kuwa mwerevu na wakuelewa. I only need two answers. Nataka tu maswali mawili. Are you wise and understanding? Wewe ni mwerevu na mtu wa kuelewa? A person who is wise ame mtu ambaye ni mwerevu and understanding na ni mtu wa kuelewa he must have wisdom from the above lazima akawe na heki imetokea juu mbinguni a person who is wise mtu ambaye ni mwerevu and is understanding na ni mtu ambaye anaelewa he must use his tongue well akaweze kutumia ulimu wake vyema the doctor that is caring ah ni mafundisho ambayo ameyabeba should be good yanafaa kuwa mema should be of beneficial yanafaa kuwa mafundisho ya faida so we are saying ourselves that we are christian tunasema kwamba sisi ni wa kristo and we have got wisdom na tuko na hekima of doing each and everything ya kufanya mambo yote but we are not wise lakini tunakosa kuwa welevu we are not understanding hatuwezi kuwa watu wa kuelewa why kwa sababu gani You find unapata a Christian mukristo a true believer mukristo ambaye ni wa kweli he is saying is led by wisdom anasema kwamba anaongozwa na hekima hii but he has is poor lakini anapanda kwamba huyu mtu ako na upungufu fulani in his mind katika kuwaza kwake is poor ai hapo na upungufu in understanding kwa kuelewa mambo and this thing happens to many christianity na ile ni jambo ambalo linatendeka kwa wakristo wengi and this thing it happens because they hide in the verse in the biblical and how watu wanajifundisha katika wanajificha katika mafundisho and this thing it happens they don't want to show them that they are poor because they hide in the doctrine that they through the that they, they, they have ani hawatai kuonyesha kwamba hao watu ni wa umasikini lakini wanajificha katika mafundisho ya kipumbavu walio nayo James chapter 3 ani yakobo pale mlango wa 3 verse 13 mstari tu wa 13 it says inasema hivi Are there people among you who are wise and understanding? Je, ni nani mwenye hekima na akili miongoni mwenu? There are to prove it by the good lives. Basi aoneshe jambo hilo kwa mwenendo wake mzuri na kwa matendo yake mema by their good deeds and performing yeah. the humility and wisdom. Yes, ayanayofanyika na kwa unyenyekevu na hekima. Do you do so? Wewe unafanya hivyo? Yes, you are saying you are wise. Ndio, unasema wewe ni mrefu. You are understanding. Wewe ni mtu wa kuelewa. But do you have humility? Je, wewe ni mtu